Hello, I am Tony Silvera. I welcome you to my evening devotional. On tonight's episode, we're going to see the miracle uh, when Jesus healed the woman with the bent back. Uh, this miracle is described in Luke chapter 13, Luke 13, starting on verse 10. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and the woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put uh, his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, the synagogue leader said to the people, There are six days for work, so come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. The Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Doesn't each of you on the Sabbath untie your ox or donkey from the stall and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has kept bound for 18 long years, be set free on the Sabbath day from what bound her? When he said this, all the opponents were humiliated, but the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to tell you a, a little bit about the place. So this is a synagogue, and Jesus had begun to go to Jerusalem. He was traveling one last time uh, through Perea uh, on uh, the other side of the Jordan. And this is the uh, last uh, miracle recording in a synagogue during his earthly ministry. Uh, and it says, Behold, there was a woman there with, uh, which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was uh, bowed uh, together. So uh, this is the context. It's, uh, it's a synagogue. It's a Sabbath. And um, uh, they're always attacking Jesus for healing in the Sabbath. And despite her pain, and the shame, uh, she was in the Lord's house. She wanted to hear the Word of God uh, uh, being explained. And this particular time, Christ was the preacher, and he was anointed from heaven to preach liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, like it says in Isaiah 61, verses 1 uh, to 3. And it was uh, visible that the woman had this problem because she couldn't straighten up. She was probably looking down to the ground. And uh, first, uh, Jesus looked at her. It says, verse 12, Jesus saw her. And this emphasizes the one-sided work of God's grace. Many others came to Jesus asking for healing. This woman probably prayed for healing, but uh, in that uh, circumstance, in that situation, she didn't ask uh, for anything, but the Lord saw her. This woman uh, had uh, both a medical problem and a spiritual problem because it says the devil had bound her so uh, that she uh, uh, shuffled around every day as chained by him. And finally, uh, this woman was in a situation where she could do nothing to straighten uh, herself, as it, as it says on verse 11. It was impossible for her to do so. And then the miracle occurs. Despite her pain, the shame she could uh, have felt, uh, her feet uh, shuffled down to the 
cobbled streets of the town until she was present to hear the, the word of God. And then at this particular time, uh, we see uh, Jesus there. Let me tell you how the miracle occurred. First, he looked at her. It says, verse 12, Jesus saw her. And this, again, emphasizes uh, this aspect. Second, he call, uh, call, called her to him. Uh, she likely couldn't see Christ because she was looking down. But he called her and she followed uh, his voice until she came close to Jesus. And third, he touched her. It says he laid hands on her. Verse 13. Under the touch, the spirit of infirmity left, the devil gave way, and this woman was no longer crushed, but stood up straight. Uh, this is a powerful miracle. And tonight, I want to tell you that you can also receive healing. Uh, maybe you are chained but God wants you to experiment the spiritual chains falling off. It is not unusual for people also to come to a house of worship burdened physically, emotionally, and uh, also spiritually. So God wants to bring total deliverance for uh, uh, every person. This deliverance is deliverance from physical bondage, emotional bondage, and spiritual uh, bondage. Uh, you know, in Leviticus uh, chapter 26, verse 13, God said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt so that you will no longer be slaves to the Egyptians. I broke the bars of your yoke and enable you to walk with heads held Hi, this is the promise of God. This woman couldn't walk with the head held high. She was bent by the devil. But God uh, directed her to be at the synagogue, at the church, and to receive this grace from the Lord uh, in that uh, occasion. God wants to do the same thing for you tonight. You're not here listening to this devotional by accident, but God's grace wants to touch your body, also your emotions and your spirit to give you total deliverance. And I would like to conclude my evening devotional with a word of prayer for you. And God, I pray for my friends watching my evening devotional. And I uh, know, God, that uh, you're able to bring complete deliverance, physical deliverance, bring healing. You can bring emotional deliverance in the area of the mind and also spiritual deliverance. Like this woman, for 18 years, the devil was oppressing her, but she was set free in an instant. And I pray that this person watching right now will be free in this moment, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I pray freedom, healing, and deliverance, and that the glory of God will be manifested. Amen. This concludes my evening devotional for tonight. If you enjoyed it, just give it a thumbs up. That will help my video. And uh, also, uh, I invite you to subscribe on Substack uh, to my evening devotional. Just go to myeveningdevotional.substack.com And uh, as you go there, you'll be prompted with a window uh, to uh, insert your email. If you insert your email, uh, you will receive this uh, uh, devotional every weekday at 9 p.m. on an email. You'll have the text version. That's the outline. You'll have the audio, which is the podcast, and also a link to YouTube for the video. Everything's there. Well, if you go to Substack and you just want to watch, there's a, an X that you can click and you'll see the page. On the page, you can uh, check the archives. You can uh, uh, check also uh, my Sunday messages. There's different things you can find 
on Substack. I hope I hope you can do it. Otherwise, there's a, a multiple um, uh, networks where I am. Usually, I'm live at nine uh, on Facebook and YouTube, so you can post your questions below on the comments and also your prayer requests. This was it for tonight. God willing, I'll be here once again tomorrow at 9 p.m. God bless you.